It's the history of Alaska's fermented legacy. Chronicled in a new book by one of Alaska's biggest beer connoisseurs, Alaska Beer, Liquid Gold in the Land of the Midnight Sun is an exploration of our hop-filled frontier. Joining us this morning on the couch to take us beyond the cover is local author Bill Howell. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Doing well. So what inspired you to write this book? Well, that was easy. The publisher called me and okay. asked me... <laughs> We want to write a history book about a, a beer in Alaska. They have a series, the American Palate, and uh, would I be interested in doing it? So I thought about it for about half a second uh -huh. and said, yes, I mm -hmm. would be very interested in doing that. Sounds so, like an easy choice. Yeah, yeah. it really was. Because <laughs> uh, that was the history I'd written before about kind of the current brewing scene, and I hadn't really delved into the history. And uh, it like seemed like too good an opportunity to pass up, yeah. and it was fascinating. So what makes you an expert about this? That's a loaded term, <laughs> expert. I'm not sure I would go there and say that I'm an expert. Um, I have been home brewing since 89. Um, I traveled the world at Uncle Sam's expense for 20 years and got a chance to sample a lot of beers around the world. I lived in London for three years when I was in the service. Um, and then uh, since I got uh, to... Uh, Alaska, I've really gotten involved in the, the local, the local uh, beer uh, culture, if you will, and the history and things like that. So if you want a credential, in 2010, I was the, selected as the national or the beer drinker of the year. Wow. By, by uh, Wincoop Brewing Company out of Denver. They do a national competition. So Very That sounds I, fantastic. It's yeah. great. You get free beer for life. Okay. Whoa. In Denver. Oh. So it's All not right. terribly convenient if you live in Alaska, <laughs> but whenever I'm flying through Denver, I can get free beer for life. Dot, dot, so, dot, in Denver. Dot, dot, dot. So overall, what, what do we find in this book? It's, it's a mix of then, now. It, it's, it, I tried to take a broad look from the earliest days of Russian rule all the way up to the end of 2014 when I had to submit it to a publisher. So it covers everything. It, when you look at it, I, I kind of broke the, the history into three big chunks because Prohibition draws a pretty bright line in any kind of history of beer or alcohol anywhere in the United States. And then in Alaska, when the last brewery closed in 1943, there was this real dry spell until uh, was actually Prince Brown in the late 70s. So I broke it into three sections, which is early days, which is kind of through the gold rush era. Then that middle period of prohibition when there's not a lot of breweries. And then finally, kind of modern times where we actually start getting breweries again that become uh, very successful. Yeah. So. That was one thing I was surprised about when I moved up here was just how many breweries they are and how successful they are, what a range of beers they do. What do you think it is about Alaska that sort of inspires this creativity in this wide range of breweries here? Um, I think it is this uh, sense of, uh, uh, for want of a better word, Alaskanness, <laughs> where you know, like the bumper sticker says, we don't give a damn how they do it in the lower 48. Um, we are very supportive of our local industries, and that's one of the things I saw going back through history. The breweries try to reach out and tap into that and say, hey, buy local, don't buy West Coast brewery beers and things like that. And ever since Alaskan started up, the local breweries have been able to tap into that, and people want to drink them and support them simply because they are Alaskan, they are local, and it doesn't hurt that they make darn good beer. Mm -hmm. um, whenever Alaskan breweries enter any national contests, which they do seldom because it's such a chore, they typically win. They do very well. Alaskans, Alaskan Smoke Porter has won more medals at the Great American Beer Festival than any other beer in the world. Awesome. That wins, that Tell wins, friends and family so. back home all the time. You need to, my, my, my brother was just somewhere yesterday, sent me a picture, it was a beer warehouse, and I said, you need to find this, 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 and this. They're all Alaskan brands, and I swear by them. Speaking of picking things up, where can we get your book? Uh, it's in all the usual suspects. Uh, it's at Barnes & Noble, uh, independent bookstores. It's on Amazon, and you can also find it at some of the local breweries. Midnight Sun Brewing Company is carrying it. Uh, I think Hoodoo up in Fairbanks is carrying it. Um, Kenai River Brewing Company and St. Elias down at Soldotna are carrying it. So, but you know, it's it's in the bookstores. Barnes Noble has it, so Fantastic. should be able to find it without too much trouble. I hope. Yeah. All right. So, Alaska beer, liquid gold, and the land of the midnight sun. Bill, thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Sharing the book with us this morning.